How are we doing, Vue devs? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be taking a look at Vue Emit, a great tool in Vue 3 that allows us to send custom events from a child component to its parent. This can be used to trigger certain events, like closing a pop up, for example, or just to send data from a child component, like when we need to make a custom input. So, how does Vue Emit work? Each Vue Emit call can have two arguments the event name, and this is the name that we can listen to in our parent component, and a payload object, which is data that we want to pass with the event. And this payload is optional if you don't want to pass any data. And there are a couple different ways to use a view emit in your code. The three that we'll be looking at are inline, the options API, and the composition API. Each of them has their own pros and cons depending on your use case. So let's just check out an example in all three, and then you can determine which one works best for you. So first, emitting inline events in view. An example of where you might want to send data out of a component is when building your own custom form input. Let's imagine a custom text input. So here we have a div, a paragraph, and then the actual input text that our custom text input is wrapping around. So let's say that our parent component is set up like this, listening for an event called custom change, and then logging whatever value it's passed inside our method section. To achieve this, we need our custom text input to listen for the native input events, and then emit the custom change event. To actually pass the value of our original change item, we need to send our custom event with a payload. In this case, we're going to send event.target.value as a second parameter. And that's it. Now if we type in our custom input, our parent component will properly log all of our changes. So the second way to emit custom events is using the options API with this.emit. Like almost everything in Vue 3, we have the choice of using the options API or the composition API. In the options API, the emit method can be called using this. So in our my input example, let's say that instead of calling emit in our template, we instead call a view method first. Then, inside our method, we can call this.$emit, and same as last time, pass it our event.target value. And that's all. So let's try this out real quick. And awesome, it works exactly the same. And then the third method is emitting events in the composition API with context.emit. In the composition API, since setup runs before our component is created, we have no access to this like we do in the options API. Instead, we can access our emit method by using the second argument of our setup function, context. Context has access to your component slots, attributes, and most importantly for us, it's emit method. And we can get access to emit by either having setup take the whole context object or getting only emit by destructuring context in our parameters. And then we can just call emit in the same exact way. Call emit, give it the name of our event, and then pass in our arguments. Once again, let's just check this out real quick. And awesome, it still works. So now you know three different ways to emit custom events in Vue. But let's take a look at two tips that you can use to make your custom events even better. In Vue 3, we can actually define custom events for a component using the emits option in our export default. This is important for keeping good documentation and knowing exactly what each component does. Also, defining events in emits allows component events to take priority over the native events. Right now, our event is called custom change. And if we just change it to change right now and look at what happens, we'll see that multiple things are getting logged. However, if we go in and define an event called change, we can override the default action and only be capturing our custom event. And then the second tip is to use kebab case when listening to events. This is essential if you're still using Vue 2, because in Vue 2, event names do not have automatic camel case to kebab case conversion, and the vOn directive automatically converts your event names to lowercase. And what this means is that certain camel case named events will be impossible to listen to. In Vue 3, event names, like props and components, are automatically converted between the different cases. So while it won't break your code, similar to the idea with props, it's still the best practice to stick to each programming language's conventions and use camel case in your JavaScript and kebab case in your HTML. So that's all for this video. I hope it helped you understand this emit method and how it can be super useful in your Vue project. If it did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to help out the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.